you know, one of the beliefs that I have about the future of technology is that inclusion and diversity and having an inclusive workforce is essential to shaping the right future that we have in, you know, in technology and essential to shaping the right human experience with technology. I don't think technology itself is the answer to eliminating gender bias. I think we need to take more action within organizations to look at how do we build the right inclusive environments to make sure that we're providing those that have limited access to technology with the right resources to you know, get engaged in the workforce and that within organizations we're really focused on developing that uh, the balanced and inclusive and diverse workforce for the future. Now, technology can play a, a bit of a role in that. Technology can help with, uh, with looking at algorithms that we're using. It can help maybe to look at where we might have human bias in decisions and make sure we're ferreting out human bias. But in the end, at the end of the day, technology is neutral. I think it's, it's a really interesting question and it would be great to think that technology could solve gender bias issues. Uh, but in reality, technology is only as good as the people who are using it or the people who are training it. So it's really important to get that right, particularly as we move towards using artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence will only be as good as the humans and the people who are, who are training it. So actually, it's really important to put guardrails in place to make sure that your technology, your artificial intelligence, your chatbots and everything that you're using actually um, is balanced and fair and ethical. I think it would be overly simplistic and almost convenient to assume that AI is going to make the, the gender challenge we have in the technology space go away. Um, I do, however, I genuinely believe it will help. And the reason I say that is because so much of the roles in the technology industry right now are very technical. And by that, I mean hardcore coding, hardcore technical architect type of activities. Whereas with the adoption of artificial intelligence, the breadth of roles increases hugely. Uh, you know, coding is still important, but it's not to be all and end all. There are many other roles that are much more important. So I think we still need to work on the other elements that we're already doing around STEM and getting, getting more girls involved in more technical activities while in school. So that flows through, uh, through the educational third level systems.